Bruce sees all. Look at the fake colors in the sky, guys. <laughs> but look at the lines. Straight lines. That is trippy. Goes really far. The whole sky. All the way to Montreal. Maybe if I can get that at the end of the... And look at that, guys. See that blue? Holy crap. Hi there. Welcome, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Lots of people from different countries here. I have to really thank you for that. I greatly appreciate it. That's just straight up the sun two days ago. We're going to look for two minutes only yesterday's sun and then do a comparison with today's sun. It's twice if not three times as bad as what you're seeing here right now this is yesterday october 2nd in the afternoon that i was filming the sun and then we're going to go over to the morning sunrise between 8 and 10 o'clock where the sun is extremely aggressive today i'm going to talk to you about what the sun has been doing for the past few days how many large m-class solar flares that just occurred yesterday on the second let's take a look at that right now while we look at these angles and now i'm going to get the date up when we look at today's sun so right now you're looking at october 2nd 2022 yesterday's sun i'll explain what's going on with the sun today both on the second and uh, today the third and yesterday the second and at the same time you'll be watching the sun as i explain it a bit more fun seeing the sun live talking about the sunspots in particularly that are taking front stage right now 3110 and 3112 let's take a look at them we have the 3110 top there the big spot on the top and surprisingly this one here 3112 they are the ones that are taking front stage hard to believe that sometimes it's not visually the large sunspots that are the ones that are actually the most aggressive. We're not seeing much yet of the anticipated geomagnetic storming conditions, but our sun is definitely doing its best to distract us from that fact. The solar activity is very elevated with two sunspot regions stepping into the spotlight, as they say. Sunspot region 3110 and 3112, surprisingly. They're producing multiple M-class solar flares every single day. Two of these solar flares, which took place during the past 24 hours, peaked above the M6, which is R2 moderate threshold. It was sunspot region 3110, which was responsible for these solar flares, which peaked at M5.8 and M8.7, respectively. So it's going to start to rotate into an earth-facing position. None of the coronal mass ejections observed the past 24 hours seem to have an earth-directed component, and that's good. The M5 and M8 event did produce nice eruptions, but the coronal mass ejections are very narrow and luckily not aimed at our planet. So we're looking at the sun October 3rd this morning during sunrise between 8 and 10 o'clock and we're seeing some of the flashing of the sun it has to do with the camera when the sun's on the edge of the screen there so hmm not necessarily going to tell you all that the sun is blinking i have seen it blink before but it could very well be the camera sensors finally it could be the camera sensors for real Everyone blames the camera sensors for everything. Most of the time, it's not a camera sensor problem. It's funny, eh? Space objects, UFOs, asteroids, they all have sensor problems with the cameras. Even the Pentagon are saying could be sensor problems. But when you're outside filming a regatta boat go by or someone playing baseball or throwing a football in the sky, 
It's funny there's no anomalies, right? Funny there's no, never any sensor problems filming on Earth, but people insinuate that filming off of Earth. What do you think of that large ass spot on the bottom left? It's not even one of the ones that's doing anything right now. It's ginormous. The fields, magnetic fields, are crossing over one another. Definitely almost positive that there is going to be something coming from that sunspot. But look at this one. These are the two that are causing all the hype. Imagine that. So now I'll be going back outside because I want to film the sun. Same thing. The same thing that I showed you, but I'm going to zoom in closer. There's a difference when you zoom in with your camera, when you film it close and when you film it far away. I want to show them both to you. I showed it to you far away. And now, progressively, we're going to get in really, really close to some of these spots. Again, this is The Sun, October 3rd. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Pete, Pete Pen One YouTube channel. Thanks for the generous contributions. Thanks to all of you for contributing to this channel. If you're here viewing the videos, quite simply liking the videos, maybe sharing it with a friend, just speaking about the channel and joining in the live streams. I thank you so much for joining this online family. Doesn't matter cause the slow's just coming soon. The slow's just coming soon.